Hey Duramax Tech Freeze fans, hey. So, I'm gonna make this video on the Duramax dreaded low fuel rail pressure code. Okay, this will serve 2001 to 2010. So, what you have in this truck, we, now everybody's talking about it, and I won't name names of big companies and stuff, that normally GM wants to change all these injectors out at once. I understand it. Because you think if one's going, the other one's going to follow suit. Okay, so here's what I do. Now, what I do and what you do and the rest of the world does is different. So, what I do is I have a Tech 2 scan tool. Ta-da! Okay. I take the line off. Okay. What I do is I go for the for the balance rates first. They don't always tell you that, that that's it. Okay. I know the other guys said don't use balance rates. It does not work. I'm here to show you today how I did it using the balance rates on the Tech 2. This truck came in with a 6,000 pound loss. It's only gaining 20,000 pounds at max fuel pump pressure. It should be 26,000. Okay. Now here's what I do is I watch to see how fast the actual and the desired go. Now if it's real, real slow, it's usually a low pressure problem to me what I what I find okay so we got to find out where are we losing 6,000 pounds of fuel now with these it's common knowledge to technicians that it's a bad in injector that's returning fuel back to the tank first thing I do is check right here this is this is the uh, relief valve the fuel pressure relief valve all you do is take the one side off is the rail take a pair of vice grips and clamp it and start it up and see if fuel comes out of this rail if it does this is where you this is where you're losing the pressure that's a fuel pressure relief valve right there got it first thing I did okay so it it's fine it's not leaking any fuel out the nipple of the rail very simple then what I do is I go for balance rates I get the truck hot what I had for, for balance rates was number five and number seven on the passenger side and number eight back here. Those were my highest rates. Number seven was right around five, which is fail. Remember, balance rates are just a measurement of time for the from injector to detonation of one zone to the other. Fire to fire. Okay. Now, so what I did is I took the highest rate, which was number seven, which means the injector is tired. I put a new one in there, okay? First thing I did was take the line off, cap it off, and see if that's a pressure loss with the cap, okay? I just take a line here, and I cut them in two, and I just weld it shut. So now there's your cap. Follow me so far? That one did not bring back the pressure, but the balance rate was really high, so I changed it, okay? If you want this thing to get good mileage and, and try to run better. Now, that changed the balance rates when I took the highest one, and I went and changed it. Now, that one's at... 1.2 on number seven that's the passenger side number five is at 1.3 which is fine but this one went to 3.6 on number eight right here so i took the line off i capped it and what i do is i start it back up i'm ready we're going to start it crank 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 okay we'll get our our tech two back up Okay. Let's see here. Look at the numbers. They're quite even, aren't they? If it's a low pressure side, most often, the numbers will not climb fast. I'm going to increase it now. You'll watch the numbers. See how fast they, they follow. Watching. 18, 20. This one's our, 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 our leaker. See it? See that? 26,000. That's the injector that's, that's bypassed. It's gonna make a funny noise when it's when it calms down. So that's our that's the one that's bad. It needs to be replaced. So we're gonna put two injectors in it. Maybe one on that side and one over here. That will get rid of the of the uh, going into lift mode. Okay. So did you see that? But a bang, but a boom. So that's our issue. Now, 
um, and yes you know you could have a low low side problem from the tank up here and we'll get into that in the next video but I want to show you how I found this then the guy can drive the truck it doesn't it doesn't smoke okay, the truck does not smoke just got high balance rates on that number seven over there and I, I changed it with a factory injector anyways that's how you find it now let's say this one this one does does not it only goes to 20,000 I'd put the line back on I'd, I would go to the next one down but I did use balance rates to find this and I've done it every time um, there was one that came in at 05 about two years ago that I did it on the balance rate and it none of them were it it was actually one that was showing good balance rates so yeah they are right but most of the time it's a balance rate will actually show you the one that's that's got a ball and seat problem it's re uh, turning that high pressure fuel back to the tank through this is the re uh, uh, turn from your injector back in the tank so anyways i hope you like my video i hope it uh, gets you somewhere helps you out um if you have any questions duramax tech guy at hotmail.com Thanks for watching my video and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Have a good day.